hello everyone so welcome to my video and in this video we're going to learn how can we play with ms uploading editing and deleting this is our custom block and today we will add a media placeholder to this uh, image and we also learn how can we do this so to play with the media we have to use a media placeholder component it is coming from the block editor first we have to import this from this block editor let us copy and go to import this from here so i have already imported from this block editor and secondly uh, we have to declare some attributes like we need a url for our image so we're going to call an image url attribute it will be a string type like this so a string like this one we also need an id or alter tag first we can work to this the alter tag it will be also a string type so like this and then let us uh, we our emails should have an id so id will be something like this uh, this type will be number type like this one number okay so we have three attributes uh msc whatever the ms alter tag and ms id first work first of all we have to distract this from our attributes i have distracted url alter tag and ms sorry id of this ms so let us use this media placeholder so searching for the media placeholder we can see this is the structure of the media video solder. I want to use a self closing component like this one. Let me align it to look it better like this. You can see the first uh, property, I mean, this first uh, props as this one select. It is a function that accept a a parameter like this can be media or something like this uh, this media is an object and it, it includes all information about the images like alt tag id author captions url sizes and more information if you console log and you will get all of this information about your uploaded images But in our cases, we will only work with the ID, URL, and auto tag. So I am going to set attributes. I mean, we have already three attributes. We want to update these attributes. Sorry, this. Builds. And first attribute is our ID. It will be the media data ID. This means because uh, media is an object. And we have to use the URL, URL is something like so this media.urls and auto tag. Uh, sometimes we don't, we may uh, not have any auto text. Then we can pass a uh, default auto text like our banner or something like this. That's it. And we can allow the MS type and multiple we are not working with the multiple images right now we are only working with a single image we can give the level of this image like uh, add your banner add your banner or something like this one oh set attributes it is wrong yeah once it is done let us oh and we start oh no start Our MPM is started successfully and if we go to the edit dot so edit and refresh we'll see this is our placeholder media placeholder it is giving options to add image so like we can select this image but there is no result so if we want to see the ms we have to use the image tag we can easily show the image like image the source of this image will be our URL, right? And the alter tag will be our 
this normal to text I mean this level to text and if you refresh then try to refresh again and try to upload a new image like I want to add a new image from here like this one yeah we can see our image is loaded but this placeholder is uh, is still available but we don't uh, want to see this placeholder when image is visible so we have to run a condition here and that condition will be something like this if url is already there then you don't need to use any placeholder then we need only this image like this but if don't have any uh, I mean this image then we have to load this media placeholder and I have used ternary operator I think I know about it okay let us align a bit like this yeah and if we refresh and try to upload the image again we'll see the result yeah upload and you can see our only image is visible here and there is no placeholder but if we delete this one we will get a, another placeholder how can we add this in our save.js we are getting these three properties sorry this three attributes so like your id and also tag so we can easily add this image we will check if the images exist i mean we have an url of this image we can easily show the image here and if i refresh i will see an error oh no yeah you can see this is a placeholder to upload image like let us upload yes let us update and see the result at the front end if i check out yes i can see this image is visible but it is too much because we don't have any style we will talk about a style later let us simply add a simple style like our image should have maximum weight like let us make image max weight should be 100 percent this is a simple scissors like this so I want to use this one in my style.css source file. So you can see our image is visible at the front end and the back end. But sometimes we may need to upload, uh, we may need to change the uploaded image. Suppose your user or you want to edit this image. So there is no option to edit this image. You have to remove the whole box and you have to add again. But that is not a solution because uh, if we delete this then we have to work from a scratch for this image uploading so we have to add an option so that the user can simply edit the image so let us try to add an option we can add option in any hard we need suppose we can add a toolbar custom tool options here or we can also add a cipher setting let us work with this toolbar like this so we will check out it from the block controls i hope you know about it we will check that we have the image or not if we have the image then it will launch media upload checker we will need to use a toolbar group and in this toolbar group we have to use a toolbar button and this button should have a icons like delete delete something like this so this are two core new components toolbar group and toolbar buttons let us import this from our components toolbar group and toolbar button and if we refresh and check out our editor 
will find a new toolbar if you select to see this is our new toolbar that is delete image so if you click on this button i mean this button then image should be finished so how can we do this so we have to run a one click event like one click one click so when we will click on this button it will set our attributes like url will be null id will be null and all the tech will also be null and if we do this and refresh uh, you can see this is our image and if you click on this image i mean the delete image and you can see there is no image and it is giving an options to add another image like we can add a new image from our computer or our library let us upload this one let us try to make an icon like this icon just trust or something it will look better uh, than your previous if we refresh i will see yes now it is looking better if you click yes and it's deleted and we can add a new image so the next video will take about how can we use and image editing options thank you